Okay, we're gonna do an unboxing. I have not opened this box yet. And I'm gonna do a backlog of just some miscellaneous items that just don't work in a video by themselves. So this is gonna be kind of a random mishmash of KC tool items. So let's get started. First item, this hot set knife I got, and I don't like it. It's kind of cheap. It doesn't always lock. I, I've mentioned that before. I'm not a big fan of this hot set knife, but we'll use it because I'm, we'll use it because of the theme I've got going in going here is random stuff I bought on KC Tool. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Heiko. I got this one. That, that, that. Got the bit of thanks. Good door. Ice scraper. Well, I ordered this almost two months ago. Finally got it, and now I don't need it because it's March. <laughs> but I'm ready for next year. Okay, so let's see. I'm just curious. Where is this thing made? Will they even admit? Oh, wow, I was sure it was gonna say made in China. Ah, oh, made in Germany. Oh, wow, this actually, <laughs> interesting. So this is, a, this is a rubberized overmold right there. It's grippy. So is this, so is this light blue part. And then this is, this is the same plastic as this through the mold. Huh, interesting. Wow, I wish I would have had this like two months ago. I could have used it. So this is just filler, trying to get free shipping. Uh, let's see here. How, how good or bad is this pen anyway? So if I hold it with the logo toward me, then I don't have that annoying sound of the tip rattling around. And I got this tack claw. This will be a nice upgrade from the uh, Chinese Menards Tool Shop claw. Let's see here, I'm gonna save these knives, I think for last. This was the main item in this order. This was a uh, tool of the day. I've been really curious about some of this hot set light stuff. So they're using USB-C, which is good. That's kind of where everything is at these days. Hmm. Okay, lithium ion, 3.7 volts, 1,050 milliamps. This clip It's not really easy to actuate this thing. Okay, I think that's it right there. That is for a 
pocket or a belt, could have maybe made it so that it, well, no, it's too, it's too big to fit on a hat. Okay, yeah, all right. So it doesn't make sense to make this a hat clip, but it's a, it's really kind of a, kind of a floppy clip. It seems real weak anyway. Probably best left recessed like that. Okay, there's the light. Okay, so they both will not turn on at the same time. Is that the same as the Garant? Let's see here, now I can't remember. Oh yeah, so there's a magnet here that holds it up basically. Okay, there's another magnet there. That, that magnet's pretty strong. Doesn't work on the sides, only works on the back. This magnet up here at the end is a little bit weaker. There's no magnet on this end. Hmm. You know, the, the Garant, I don't know, I actually like the Garant better. It, the magnet on the end, it doesn't have a magnet here. This clip is much stronger. The magnet holds the Garant like this. It's got a red light when it's charging and it shows a solid green light when it's charged. And the IP65 rating is a very high rating. Six is the highest for solid materials like dust. And uh, five is a pretty high rating for moisture. So this one is definitely more rugged than the IP30 rated Garant. So I will try to put the comparable specs on the screen right now so that you can kind of see the difference between the Hotset and the Garant. This is the Stahlvilla, the Stahlvilla. Remove before flight key ring. This thing is actually surprisingly very high quality for a, for a little tag. It's very high quality, it's amazing. And then this is just some more filler items, two magnets. Pretty weak holding force on those. All right, so then I got the Stahl Villa. The Gonzo magnet. That's what I'm gonna call it, right? Gonzo, doesn't everybody know Gonzo from the Muppet Show? His crooked nose. I'm not going to put B-roll of Gonzo in my video because I'm just too paranoid about getting a copyright strike. The Stahlvilla 12600. I noticed that I had a lot of good Vera Hex Plus bits that were all metric, so I went and ordered a whole bunch of SAE sizes Vera does make SAE sizes in the Hex Plus bits. These are all the Hex Plus bits that I bought at KC Tool. Hex Plus is just a different geometry on a typical hex key that transfers the pressure point on the fastener from the corner to the edge. And then these are some Magic Ring by Weha. And I got three sizes of these that I use most often with 8020. So that's what these are, and you can't get these at KC Tool anymore. In the empty bit safe 61, and then these are some other miscellaneous bits I just put in here. And I got some oxen cough. I never had one of these wedges, and I sure could have used it a year ago when I was cutting down emerald ash borer infected ash trees in my backyard. So let's 
Got the fish scaling on it. I don't know, that's what I'm calling it. There's the Ochsenkopf logo, made in Germany. I have a real big, heavy splitting wedge. This isn't the one that has the twist in it. So here is the Ochsenkopf solid aluminum wedge. 550 grams. And then I bought the limited edition sets. I think we've all seen those. These have their, their what is it they call it? What does Vera call this? The diamond grip. So I got these limited edition sets. I think everybody has seen these. The thing that I find interesting is, is that the USA and Canada sets are not really anything special but the limited edition Japan set is the really nice diamond. This I got, this fits into uh, studs on lithium iron phosphate cells. And I wanted an insulated three millimeter hex key for messing around with studs on lithium iron phosphate batteries. And I'll put some B-roll in here now so you can see what I was using this for. So I have used this and I use that to just for safety, messing around with lithium batteries. Um, Cause those lithium batteries, if you short those, man, they can weld. And then I bought this uh, accidentally because, because this, well, this you can't get on KC Tool anymore. KC Tool doesn't sell v high anymore. And I needed a, three three eighths to quarter inch okay but this was three eighths to quarter inch the wrong way so i had to go buy the other quarter to three eighths so that it was going the way that i wanted it to go because they had the they had the same photo photo didn't match up with the label so i ended up buying both of them and what i wanted was this one and then this one I cut up. So this is what it looked like before I cut it up. I cut this up because I wanted to put it on here to convert my, my Vera A5 torque wrench to 3 8 drive. And that again is for messing around with lithium batteries. Um, because I do use this, but I don't use this for the final Titan. I use this for disassembly. I did use it for some assembly, but I used the torque wrench for getting the torque correct on the terminals on lithium batteries. An expensive Proxon adapter. This did not come from KC Tooled, but it doesn't, it doesn't quite reach the detent. It's like one millimeter longer. It's just long enough. Gets me the adapter that I wanted so that I can use these expensive insulated sockets when I'm working on lithium batteries. As for this, uh, it's still useful because this fits the Vera Cyclop VDE. And I've got a way to put quarter inch bits on this. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, the knives. All right, so I'm, I'm not a big knife guy. And you guys all have probably figured that out. If you've seen one of my videos, I, I hilariously ignorantly referred to these thumb studs as rollers, because I had no clue. I'm not a big knife guy. And I'm starting to learn that these, these cheaper, Knives really are not anything high quality, which leads into this Heiko rescue knife, which I started working on a review for this, and I became immediately disillusioned with its shortcomings. So the knife is okay. It does lock when I open it. That's that's basic, that's good. I have no idea if this is actually gonna break glass. 
I don't have any junk vehicles sitting in a grove that I can go test this on. And the, the seatbelt cutter, this seatbelt cutter is a joke. I mean, this thing, man, if, you, if your life depends on it, do not get this Heiko. Something is off on the way this is designed. It doesn't feed the, the belt into the knife. It just, it doesn't cut it. So I thought, well, I, let's try the Ghidorah. So here we go. Let's try the Ghidorah. I'm going to use my new engineer brand scissors that I just did in my previous, just showed this in my previous uh, Amazon Japan tool haul. I really like that scissors. All right, so let's check out the Ghidorah lock okay all right it's working so just right off the bat i'm more impressed with a sense of quality from this than i am with either one of these okay now me not being a knife expert doesn't say much but take that for what it's worth look at the difference in the way that the cut is designed on this thing so now, if I need to cut a seat belt, oh, come on. Just to prove to you guys that this stuff can be cut, I mean, it cuts easily. It's not, this isn't difficult to cut. Man, there's got to be like a ton of tension on this thing. You know, but if you're in a panic or something, gee whiz. This thing, I don't know what to think about these seatbelt cutters. Anyway, I don't know. Okay, so that's... If this was intended to be an eyelet to put string through it, uh, boy, that was a design mistake. I don't think that's a good idea, having that tip of that knife right there. Because um, the, it moves around about this much on the closed detent. For sure, this is the winner for blade sharpness. You know, these are all fairly cheap, I would say low-end knives. I don't think these are designed to be any kind of real high-end camping or survival knife. Not an apples to apples comparison. The Hotset is not a rescue knife, it doesn't claim to be. And I can't get either one of these to really cut through strap. So I'm still baffled as to why neither one of these work for that. And then I have no idea how well these glass breaking inserts work on these. I don't have anything to test it on and I'm not going to. So that's a really miscellaneous set of items from KC Tool. I hope that was interesting. I'll put all the affiliate links in the description below and thank you for watching.